If you are younger than 50, the last thing on your mind is probably colon cancer, but it might be time to think about getting a colonoscopy. Dr. Ryan Shelton with Tryon Medical mm -hmm. Partners is here this morning to talk about why people under the age of 50 are at an increased risk and what you can do to stay healthy. Dr. Shelton, thanks for yes. being here today. Yeah, good morning. Okay, so there are some new recommendations about colon cancer screenings. Yeah, so unfortunately, we are seeing a rise in younger folks. So typically, we've done colonoscopy as a screening uh, at 50. And now the American Cancer Society is suggesting that we do it for average risk folks at age 45 because we are starting to see even 30 somethings uh, that we would not expect to have colon cancer. Uh, and it's preventable if we can catch it early. So, you know, when we're younger, we tend to maybe ignore some of the symptoms. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of feel really good and we kind of feel, you know, invincible. And so if we're having some rectal bleeding or some changes, we might just kind of think, oh, that's, that's nothing, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But it's really important to get that checked out. Is diet a problem that's causing some of this increase in young people? What we, is it? We don't know exactly for 100% like why there's a rise in younger folks, but I, I do think it's a huge portion is contributed to, I mean, certainly genetic, but also our diet. Mm -hmm. So I, I really try to avoid um, processed meats that have uh, that are high in nitrates, um, red meat, I don't do much red meat anymore. So we need to be eating real food, um, you know, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables and things that we were meant to be eating rather than a lot of the processed and packaged kind of convenience foods. Mm -hmm. So I do think that has a, a huge part to play. So who really is at risk for colorectal cancer? So if for younger folks, if you have inflammatory bowel disease, so like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's, then we definitely want to screen them earlier because that's an increased risk. We have to look at your family to see, has anybody had colon cancer at a young age um, or at all? Um, and has anybody else in your family had colon polyps even? So if multiple people, especially if it's like parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, you know, close to you, if they've had colon polyps even, then that's someone that I, I would push for you to have a, a screening of some type done at age 45, mm. if not sooner, depending on when the first, when the age of the first, first relative. All right, well, how can we lower the risk? So getting the, getting the screening is, is key. Um, I think the most important thing is, you know, the eating healthy, keeping our weight down, not smoking, no heavy alcohol, like all those basics. Um, but we can't ignore symptoms. So for colon cancer, if you have rectal bleeding that happens continuously or even intermittently, if it's a one-time thing, that might be fine. That's less likely to be devastating. But if it's recurring, we need to know why. So that's something you need to see your doctor about so we can figure out what's the cause of that. Mm -hmm. It could be hemorrhoids or it might not be. Um, so we really need to know, you know, to be able to explain those symptoms. Um, unexplained weight loss, if you're losing a lot of weight and you're not trying to, we need to be looking at, at that for, for many reasons. So changing your stool caliber, that's something else that might be a sign. Okay, let's talk about a colonoscopy because mm -hmm. I think most people go, oh my gosh, you know, it, I, it sounds, like it's, it's an it's, unpleasant experience. It sounds worse than it is. Yeah. Um, it is the gold standard in terms of uh, preventing because so it's a screening, but it's also in a way it's an early treatment. So if you have polyps, we take those out. Those polyps are what can grow potentially into a cancer over a short or long, longer period of time just depends. But so that's, that's why that one is kind of the preferred kind of gold standard, but there are other options. So, um, you know, the most important thing is don't ignore the symptoms and talk to your doctor about what's the best test for you. Mm -hmm. Don't just assume I'm not having a colonoscopy, so I'm just gonna ignore that because there are other options. So the okay. best test to me actually is, it's the one that you'll do the one that we can get some information out of. So the others, they're not perfect. They have some false false positives, but we can deal with that. So we just want people to be thinking about it and not ignoring potential badness. Right. And as a person who had a colonoscopy, I don't remember a thing. Whatever they gave me that kind of knocked me out, uh -huh. I was out and I, I literally don't remember a thing but being back in the car, right. driving home with my wife. So that's one of the, the perks. Uh, we, it's a, the best nap you've it's ever the had. the best nap I've ever had. Uh, we give you the really good stuff. So you, you won't remember the procedure right. afterwards. Whereas you wake up feeling refreshed and you're ready to go. And it can save your life. I mean, that's Absolutely. the bottom line, really. That's Absolutely. The bottom line. That's, but, but really, this one is the most preventable. Yeah. And the colonoscopy probably is the 
best cancer screening test mm -hmm. I think that we have. So quickly, when you when they do find a polyp, they, they mm -hmm. find a polyp the first time, they, they need to just monitor you and make sure that you're okay, right? Right. So if you at age 50 or whenever, if you already had a polyp, depending on what type it was, but if you're already making a polyp, then chances are you're going to make more over your lifetime. So we want to check again to be sure that one's not regrowing and that you're not making more. So depending on what we see each time, we can kind of tailor the time frame on what you need. Mm. Dr. Brian Shelton, thank you yeah. very much. Go to tryonmed.com for more information. Tryonmed.com. We appreciate that. Very mm -hmm. good. Thank you.